Hey everybody, Daniel J here, and right now I'm about to show you how you can use goal setting to double your results, triple your results, 10 times your results, or maybe you're sitting there thinking, I have zero results. You know, you could times this by a billion, but a billion times zero is still zero. <laughs> so if you have no results, I'm going to show you how to start getting results. Because if you've ever been in home business, if you've ever been to a self-improvement webinar, if you've ever had a job, they've told you to set goals. Sorry if you hear that noise in the background. That's uh, my puggle over there. Oh, there we go. And he has this orange ball he pushes around, and that's how he eats. So if you put food in a bowl, he just inhales it, and uh, <laughs> I think he's going to choke himself to death. So he has to use that ball to slowly get the food out. Um, but yeah, when I first joined Network Marketing and Home Business, I was told, set goals, set goals, set goals. I was like, I got goals. I'm setting them. I'm writing them down. But... Well, how is this going to help me get leads? How is this going to help me build my business? You know, I want to make money. I want to do this. But what does setting these goals have to do with it? And maybe you've seen the, the secrets. <laughs> You're like, all I have to do is think about it and write my goals down and they all come true. I'm not going to lie. That's stupid. <laughs> I mean, I get the secret. It has a good basic principle. But just the secret itself does not work. Because some of you may have seen The Secret, but didn't even realize there's a secret part two. And in The Secret part two, they go, oh, we forgot to tell you in the first one that uh, in order for this to work, you have to take action as well. Because <laughs> what setting goals does, um, this is the first part. Pay attention to the second part, where that's where it's really going to be mind-blowing and really take your business to the next level. But the first part of setting goals is it puts something in your subconscious mind where you start to look for things and start to see things. It's like, when I bought a Kia Soul, I mean, this was like five years ago, you know, I see a Kia Soul here, a Kia Soul there, but once I bought a Kia Soul and started driving it, all I saw on the road was Kia Souls. Your mind has something that you find what you're looking for. Have you ever, like, this is a terrible example, met, like, a, a little person? <laughs> I watched Little People Big World on TV, and then you go to the mall, and all you see are little people everywhere. I mean, did you will more little people into your life? Did you will more key of souls into your life? No, your brain's just paying more attention to it and looking for it since that's what's in your subconscious mind. And same with reaching your goals and what you want to have. You know, once you start thinking, this is where I want to be, this is where I want to get to, your brain starts to find ways to get there and find opportunities where if you think, I can never do this, your brain doesn't look for it. Your brain doesn't think about it. I mean, I drive a Kia Soul. How often do I see Nissans and Subarus? It's here and there. But I see Kia Souls everywhere. If I drove a Nissan or a Subaru, I would probably see those everywhere. So you find what you're looking for. But this is the important part. This is where it makes a big difference in your business. This is how you can use it to explode your business and start seeing results. If you're getting results, here's how to double, triple, ten times your results by having goals. Because a lot of people when you're marketing online, when you're talking about your business, that's all you're talking about is your business. You know, here's what I sell. Here's our compensation plan. Here's how you can join. And you be, just become a commercial. You know, become just an ad online that people just scroll right past and don't really care about. When you have visions, you have goals, you have something you want to accomplish. Like I'm 32 years old. I want to break free from the cube. I want to have financial freedom. I want to give my girlfriend and her kid a life that they can't even imagine. I want to buy foods that I want to eat, not what's on sale. I want to be able to travel. I want to be able to go to shows without having to you know, go to the bank account thinking, do I have an extra $50? You know, I just want to know that that financial freedom's there, that if she needs to go to a, uh, not a special school, but a, <laughs> you know, a private school or take music lessons or dance classes or swimming, that she's able to do that. Ah, here's my gorgeous girlfriend calling now. I'll call her back in a minute, though. That she's able to do that. We're able to provide that life. And that's what setting your goals does. Writing it down, knowing your vision, what you want to accomplish, that's what you want on the forefront of your business. Because no one's going to buy your products. No one's going to buy your compensation plan. No one's going to buy your business. No one's going to sign up to say, hey, I can sell vitamins too. <laughs> you know, no one cares about that. What people care about is your vision, where you're going. So when you can say, here's a single mom breaking free, accomplishing you know, this goal of breaking free from the corporate world, or um, how I came from nothing, and how I'm heading to this, or how I went from broke, unable to paying rent, and to being able to buy a house, or 
knowing that my bills are paid for. Once you have a vision or able to talk about that vision, that's how you're going to inspire people. That's why people are going to follow you. That's why people are going to get interested in your business because of your vision, because who you are. And that's the difference between, you know, the 1% of people in network marketing who make money and the 99% who don't is that 1% talk about a vision. People want to follow someone who know what they want, who know where they're going. You know, one of the best speakers of the, this century, well, I guess it was last century now, Martin Luther King Jr., what was his famous speech? I have a dream speech. It wasn't, I have a plan. It wasn't, I have a product. <laughs> it was, I have a dream. I have a goal. I have a vision. Follow along with me. And once you start talking about that vision, where you want to be, where you want to go, what you want to accomplish, that's when you're going to start to draw people in. That's when people are going to start to watch you. And that's when you can kind of start talking about, here's how I'm doing that. Here's how I'm building my vision. Here's how I'm working towards it. And then finally you can tell people, here's what I'm doing. You know, here's my business. Here's my opportunity. But don't start with your business and opportunity. Start with why you're doing it, your goals, your visions. Start to give people value. Teach people how to do it, the strategies, the steps. And then from there, you can show them what you're doing. And at that point, they're going to want your vision. They're going to want your goals. They're going to want to accomplish that too. They're going to start to see how you're doing it, that you have value, that you have knowledge, that you want to give back, that you care about other people, that you're a real person. And from there, they're like, well, what is it that you do? You know, I want to do that too. I have those same visions. I can do those same things that you're doing. Let me in your business. And that's where success is going to happen. I hope this made sense. You know, I hope this clicked with you. I actually uh, click the link below. And um, what you're going to see is kind of my capture page. You can enter your email address and get a free video. I think it's like 20 minutes long. That breaks this down step by step. How to find your vision. Talk about your vision. Get other people attracted to that. And then how to lead that into traffic, leads, and sales, and how to grow your business by being you, talking about what matters the most to you, talking about your passions, being a real person. That's what's important. That's what people care about. You're special. You're important. You have a story that only you can tell. You have a goal that only you have and only you can accomplish. You're going to accomplish it. You're going to reach it. Learn how to do it. My name is Daniel J. Click the link below. I'm going to talk to you all soon. Thanks.